Hey guys, Miles here. It's another Monday, so it's another episode of Blast Off Mondays, and I have a special guest here. You guys know Coach, one of our subject matter experts. Today, though, is gonna, going to actually be different from what we had uh, planned. We were supposed to shoot uh, a slab of marble with a shotgun, but who knew that uh, to get real marble, other than marble, it takes some time. You can't just buy it in a store. Supply so, chain issues. Supply right? chain issues. So we're gonna have to push it back. We went to Home Depot, we went to all it. We couldn't find it. We have, there's imitation marble. So we're going to wait, we're gonna push it back, and we're going to do something a little different. It's not going to be one where you're going to have to guess what happens, but this was a, based on a comment one of the viewers left a little while ago, and we thought it was a great idea where we brought a bunch of different ARs, different barrel lengths, and we're going to test the varying velocities and the penetration. And what we're going to shoot is just reams of paper. And the reason why we chose this instead of, let's say, plates or things like that is that you, the viewer, most likely know how this feels, the weight and how dense it is. So you get an understanding of how much penetration um, is going to actually be occurring here, okay, with the actual object, the reams of paper, right? So we're going to go do it methodically. We're going to start off with a seven and a half, Seven and a half inch, yep, barrel. And then we're just going to see, kind of take it from there step by step, see how many reams of paper it goes through, add more paper, and then if it stops it, then move on to the a longer barrel length. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys like this uh, special episode of Blast Off Mondays. All right, to start out, we're using M193 55 grain ammunition in all the uh, different barrel lengths that we're gonna use. This ammo was designed back in the late 50s, early 60s to be uh, shot out of a 20 inch barrel. So that's where all the, all the powder gets burnt. As you shorten that, you know, the more powder gets burned outside the barrel, so you tend to get more flash and less effect. And what we noticed, we just did some chrono on these things. Long barrel was getting uh, upwards of 3,200 feet per second. And the, the shortest barrel, I think, was down at near 24, or maybe a little bit less. So that velocity drops off quite a quite a bit and we're going to see what that equates to in this um, the medium of well printer paper all right so here we go all right so this is our first test subject it has a seven and a half inch barrel and that chronoed earlier uh, at a mean of about 2365 let's go see what happened all right so the seven and a half inch we hit right about here, went through the first ream of paper, and it's somewhere in the second ream. Didn't come through the, the other side of the second ream of paper. So let's see, we're gonna shoot with a 10.3 and then break it open and see what we got. The next contestant here has a 10.3 inch barrel and chronoed with a mean of 26.59. Here we go. That got a little more effect. Okay, so to show you the effect that velocity has. It's the same, same ammo, same bullet. With the short barrel, we barely made it into the second ream. This one rolled right through there, but there really wasn't much. There's, nothing, there's none of the paint is uh, even chipped here, but it blew the hell out of this. Okay, so as we look through this, of course, there's nothing here to look at, but that's just torn up. Okay, we get to this, this ream here. If only I had a knife on me. Ah, I do. Okay, so we pull this out. So our first shot, barely hit it right there. Push through. There it is. Wrong one. All right. Looking for the round. And it's pretty much just, it made it almost through. There we go. There we go. And we'll come in for a close up on that one. But it's torn up here. That's about as much as it's left. Pretty much just the copper jacket. So it almost made it. With its Give it its due, it almost made it through two reams. So that, that's what soaked it up. Okay, so the next contestant here has a 11 and a half inch barrel. 
which is the new hotness these days. The 100 pound heads decided that's your optimum length for a short barrel. This one chrono at about 2816. The new uh, Mark 18 series that uh, the guys are using now has 11 half inch barrel. So this should be pretty close to what's on the battlefield today. Go we'll see what happened. Okay, so as you see, we've added another ream because uh, that 10.3 just blasted through the back of this one. The 11.5 looks like it's made it through damn near four reams. We'll tear it up here in a minute, take a look at it. But yeah, it's, it's, it's all the way into somewhere into this uh, final ream of paper. And now we're gonna go to the next size up. Okay, next one. This one has a 14 and a half inch barrel. This is a clone of the M4, but that 14 and a half inch barrel, it's not a random number. After Vietnam, the 100 pound heads decided that uh, the 14 and a half inches gave you enough velocity so that you can still have good effect at distance. So the constant here is seven yards and this one chronoed at just over 3000 at 3011. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so this is with the 14.5 inch barrel and those 100 pound heads, they know what they're talking about because it blew right through four reams of paper. Entrance wound's here, exit wound is here, and then it took a radical turn and we just clipped the bottom left side of, of the plate. So that came in and it was, it's entered its yaw cycle, tore up a bunch of stuff and came out at an angle, which is a common thing for hyper velocity bullets like this to do. Now, let's go back to that, uh, where are we? the previous one, 11.5 inch, let's see let's put it there for now. There, okay. So it made it through three, about three and a quarter, three and a quarter reams, and that bullet is just torn up. Let's see where we're we at. There you go. And it's weird because all the lead has just turned to powder. And so the, just the jacket remains, and it went through about, yeah, not quite a quarter, but there was extra effect here to get you about a quarter of the. Uh, quarter of the ream so not bad performance it definitely gone it blew right through three so but just that little bit of extra velocity with this 556 five, bullet makes a lot of difference so uh, the next contestant is the 16 inch barrel which is minimum for rifle length barrel and it chronoed at about 30 41 on a mean so we've increased a, a little bit with that extra length here we go Who we got. Okay, so this is the 16 inch barrel and we got an entrance wound here. Went through one, two, three. Really started to yaw, it's tearing up the paper into the fourth and we added a fifth just to see uh, what that penetration was gonna do. And we've gone quite all the way. Let's see, it's somewhere in here in this, uh, about halfway through that fourth ream. Okay, we're gonna shoot one more into this one, then we'll tear it up. The last one we're gonna shoot here is a 20 inch barrel. It's my M16A2 clone. That mean velocity was 32.34. So this is what your standard battle rifle with the uh, M16 has been since its inception. Good old Eugene Stoner. He decided that uh, 20 inches was the right uh, length for, for 5.56. Let's see how good it does. Okay, so this is the 20 inch barrel. Entrance wound right about here. We roll through. Starting to get bigger as we get through the second ream. Third ream's really starting to tear things up, getting pretty powdery. And then there's, there's no exit wound. 
in the third ring. So we're somewhere in here. Let's see where we're at. So the, all that energy is dumped right in here at, the damage pretty much ends. 1 third of the way through that last ream, we're torn up, but it is just, it's just pulverized. Last little bit of, little bit of lead there. We'll, we'll dig around, find something else in here. All right, now that 16 inch has got a little more penetration. It actually got into the, this fourth ream here. So it made it through three, hit this fourth, and then started yawn pretty good. See where we're at. Okay. There you go. About about a third of the way through, and some recoverable. Got the bullet right here. So that was the 16 incher. Made it through three. Three and a third. And that's where I found the jacket. All right, so that 20 inch barrel, that bullet coming out of there was average uh, a velocity of 32, 34. So it was about, it was a couple of hundred feet per second faster than the 16 incher. And with hyper velocity bullets, that's causing it to yaw sooner and cause more damage. So as you look in here, it's really torn up. It's, it's turned this, uh, this paper into powder even though it didn't penetrate quite as deep, it has just torn up everything. So it dumped all that energy fairly early. 